My name is Phoebe Archakin. My parents are Walter and Rose Linda Archakin. My name is Sunshine Andrew. My name is William Ham. My name is Bobby Parks. I live in Merritt, BC. I'm Loya Aldram. My name is Josh Spahan. My name is Carl Jules. I'm from Merritt, BC. And I was a part of the Merritt Mule Project. I do it because I was one of these kids at one time. I lived in a small town and I didn't play hockey. And so I wanted something to do creative and uh, the only thing you could kind of do was get in trouble. Growing up, I was, wasn't that good. I could get your pin number from a bank or from a VCR. I could still do it now and stuff like that. I was a thief. I stole cars. I've never been caught. When I was 14, I got tired of my foster parents and uh, ran away. Came to Little Merritt because I had a girlfriend that I met at a powwow. Dad was addicted to crack cocaine, so made things pretty hard. I had it, like, when I was growing up, I had a really rough time. I see these kids needing love. It's basically just, it's pretty simple and respect. They, um, they've been told what they can't do, so they just need you to love and respect them. I've always wanted to be a police officer growing up. Like, I still have my pictures when I was a kid. And... I'm gonna try and go back to school, finish that. When I was little, I wanted, I really wanted to be a veterinarian. I'd like to have a full-time job. I'd like more job opportunities for me and other people in, in a town this small. I'd just like to get a house and get on my feet, settle down, maybe have some kids. I just want to be in a line of work where I feel like I'm making a difference. I think I want what most people want, like a house, a family, um, you know, just a life. I think the mural uh, project has been really great. It's gotten some of the kids that otherwise would be out at night to graffitiing or getting into other kind of mischief, but they keep them really active during the day. It gives them a focus. It's great for them, and the young people that are at risk. And uh, by the time they're finished in the day, they, number one, they have far more pride in the community, and number two, they don't have the energy to go wandering out at midnight to graffiti the walls. It's so good for the community and brings so much good um, to the town and, and I think that is due to them, you know, walking around and having their sense of pride knowing that they put a paintbrush to that wall. All the youth from the mural group helped us throughout the project with uh, painting and uh, put, putting up siding and, and uh, the fences and all sorts of stuff like that. As an employer, I definitely put uh, my name behind any of, the, any of the kids that was in the mural group. It was one of my first big jobs that I actually got. Because before I, was, I didn't have a job, right? We were just hanging around the streets and getting into bad things. Now I've just been, I've been working steady since, so it showed me that I can uh, apply my skills anywhere and just make it, I guess. Actually, the first time working with Michelle is the first time working with uh, white people. I was always with First Nations and always people that I've known. So working with complete strangers is a lot different because then you got to learn a whole new person again. I do think uh, this project has helped the community a lot. Uh, not only the youth that we're, that we're uh, helping out, but um, with the older people that are walking around. You know, you get tourists, pictures taken. People stand up beside, beside the picture and want to do funny things with the picture. Um, for myself and all the trouble that I got into, I, I would have given up all that easily just to paint on a wall. The kids see me as the face of this project and probably the warm arms that kind of keep them tucked in, but it is actually more about the government and the community. We have administration and fundraisers and grant writers, um, local politicians help, um, federal politicians help because there's a lot of support. Crime prevention helps us a lot. It's, it's a big community event, it really truly is. Um, the kids just want to be loved. You know, and we slowly teach them that it takes an awful lot. We have to find a lot of people, sponsors, to try to get something like this going. So it's a big family trying to raise all these young people. This could be our last year of painting here in Merritt, unless we could get some more fundings and stuff. So, and if not, uh, hopefully they carry on somewhere else. Mm -hmm.